Welcome back to How to Authority. Now, if you have issues with your Android device overheating, there's a lot of reasons why that could be happening. So in this video, I'll be taking you through pretty much all of the various troubleshooting steps that you can go through to try and fix this issue. Now, while the issue could be something a lot bigger, like for example, a fault with the device itself, which could mean you need to have it replaced or repaired, here we'll be just going over things that you can do at home. So let's get started off by maybe looking at if an app is using data when it's not supposed to, which can usually result in quite a lot of heat being used, well, what can you do then? To see if it's an app causing an issue because it's using too much data, either because of a bug or a permissions issue, you want to go into the settings app, which is right here. Then from there you want to go into the connections menu, which should be near the top. And then near the bottom you're going to see this right here, data usage. Tap onto that, there we go, and from there you want to go onto the mobile data usage menu. Then after some loading it'll tell you exactly how much data every app has used in any given period of time which could show us our corporate. So as you can see for example Google Play services have been taking up quite a lot so we can then tap onto that and then we can go on to view app settings to learn a bit more but here we can also turn off background data usage which could solve a problem for us. But okay, what if it's not data usage that's the problem? What about if a rogue app is using too much battery, causing your device to overheat? Well, here's how we can check that. Once again, you want to go into the settings app yet again, and then scroll down a bit until you see that battery menu. So you want to tap onto that. From there, you want to scroll down, and it's going to show you exactly which apps have been using the most battery in any given period of time. So let's, for example, go on to, say, a Reddit here. And then you can turn on background usage limits near the bottom, as you can see. This will once again restrict exactly how much power this app can draw while it's in sleep. So you can put it in sleep or even deep sleep to see if that solves the issue. But we're not done with the battery just yet, because another thing that is infamous for making a device hot is actually charging it, especially some other charging methods. So let's quickly go back into the battery menu and look at that. Okay, so we're back into the battery menu and you want to scroll all the way down until you see charging settings. Here, if you tap onto that, you can disable fast charging and especially fast wireless charging. Wireless charging is infamous for making a device hot, so turning these off can definitely help your device run a bit cooler. Though, of course, that does mean it will charge a bit so as well. So it's, you know, a potentially a necessary evil, but definitely something you don't want to do if you don't need to. But of course, there's so many other reasons why a device might run hot. Maybe after an intensive gaming session on some demanding app, or maybe you just live in a very hot climate or you left it exposed somewhere where it got a lot of sunlight heating it up as well. But those are the main things you can do on the phone itself. There are also some other extreme measures, for example if overheating is a constant issue because of things like for example gaming, things like your case could be an issue. So taking your phone out of the case or getting a case more suitable for cooling your phone could be a solution and it's even special phone coolers out there as well. Things that come with an active cooling system like a fan to dissipate a lot more of the heat from your device. Those can cost a bit but again it could be a worthwhile solution if it's a long-term problem. So guys pretty much all of the key ways that you can address overheating on your Android device. If you found this video helpful then hey maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.